Welcome everybody. We've got two exciting young people, and this is what I love about the young world as a whole future. And we've got Elizabeth and Catherine Adams. Isabel. It's, Isabel and Catherine <laughs> Adams. I'm okay. sorry. I'm going to get this right yet. And by the way, I had an aunt is, so I, I love Isabel's name. And they are doing something that I've never heard anyone do before. They're young, they're energetic, they're enthusiastic, tuned in, turned on. And you're doing Paper for Water. What does that mean? So Paper for Water is a nonprofit organization my sister and I started seven years ago. And we raise money. And, and by the way, you're 80 years old, right? <laughs> Tell them how old you are. I'm 15 and I'm 13. Yes. And you started seven years ago because? We did. Because we learned that kids our age were not being able to go to school because they were hauling water all day or because they were sick from dirty water. And we felt like that was not okay. And we also... We agree with you 100%. And I own four <laughs> yes. water companies. So I believe in this. And we, well, we also thought that we could do something about it. And so we started raising money by making and selling origami ornaments and because of this we've been able to raise over 1.7 million dollars and fund one million seven hundred thousand dollars correct two little girls no offense intended but you <laughs> don't look old enough to know what a million seven hundred thousand dollars is <laughs> well it's we've also been able to fund over 200 water projects give me five that's great ladies. so that's how we know what 1.7 million dollars is. and how does that make you feel um, it just feels great to help people and to give back to the community and it's just a great way to do something good in the world. Uh, have you guys been able to get much media because somebody your age needs good media because you are good media. You are the good news. You are the future and, and what happens is your peer group gets beat up if you don't mind my saying so. so Tell us what it feels like and how much media you've been able to garner. That's a lot of money to raise. Yeah, so we've had a lot of amazing media. We were actually on uh, GMA last holiday Isn't season. Isn't that fun? It was really fun. I've um, been on there a few times. Yes, and so we've been on Good Morning Texas a bunch. We've been in a lot of local newspapers and magazines and websites and podcasts. Um, and it's just been really amazing to be able to tell even more people about what we're doing. So how much do you sell one of these for? So we sell anywhere from ten to a hundred dollars. Ten to a hundred dollars. Correct. And who, how do you raise a million? At a hundred dollars to get a million, you got to sell ten thousand of these. So that means you've sold, you know, uh, seventeen thousand. If I'm doing that right, yeah, seventeen thousand at a hundred dollars each. That's a lot. Go ahead. You have a lot of people. You're not making these yourself anymore. So they're well, they're all handmade, but we do have hundreds of volunteers that help us make them. And we have also a lot of grants. Um, not all of the money that we raised was just from ornaments. Okay. Some of it was just from donations. Have you been able to go out to any of the water project and help the people with the wells or water purification or water filtration or water cavitation? There's a lot of levels of water. Yes. So the majority of our water projects are water wells. Um, but we do a lot of other projects depending on what is needed in the area. Um, we've been to visit a lot of our water wells overseas. Um, and then... What countries have you been to? So we've been to India, Peru, Zimbabwe, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Uganda. Do you let your parents go with you? <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I know you don't need them and they're sitting here <laughs> adoring you. But and they're great parents to they're do this. They're amazing. Cause, yes. cause, by the way, I'm glad you like your parents. They're amazing. Because <laughs> most parents would like to think their kids thought they're amazing. Well, our parents are pretty awesome. So which country? You started with India, and I was a student Correct. ambassador in India. So what city in India? Well, we visited Wells um, in Jaipur and Varanasi um, and Lucknow. Yep. Yes. And did you were you amazed at the sight, sounds, and the information and, and sensory overload in India? Definitely. It was it was a lot to take in. You, go, you know, I was a little older than you. I was 20 and 21 as a grad student going to India, so it was amazing. And then it, going to Africa, and that, the, the people received you pretty well, right? Yes, they were so happy and generous and really welcoming. And the, and the people, the political leaders were open to you guys coming and helping? Yes. Okay. So when we were in Zimbabwe, actually, their local government system worked really closely with 
the nonprofit that we work with, Living Water International. Which is Water International. Living Water yeah. International. And they work with them really closely to be able to locate the communities in the most need. And we actually got to go to one of the local government offices and meet with the people. And it was amazing because they're really connected to their people and they're really doing everything they can to help them. So you guys are so articulate, so enthusiastic, so wonderful, so buoyant, and I'm thankful. Have you figured out how to create other leaders like you? Young leaders I'm talking about, because the problem, I don't know, we might have a different number, but it could be anywhere from two billion people have bad water to four billion of our eight billion. I think our population is eight billion. It may only be seven, but I'm sure it's that. So what do you what do you say? Do we, can we get other leaders like you? Or are you inspiring other leaders? We have tons of youth volunteers, and we try to empower kids and instill in them that you can do anything, and it doesn't matter how young or old you are. You can make a difference. So opportunity is infinite. And, and by the way, what has it done for your mind and what has it done for your school studies? Well, I have learned so much through this project. I've learned about business, retail, philanthropy, entrepreneurship, geography, for traveling. <laughs> um, it's culture, international culture. It's been amazing. Um, how what have much... your teachers had to say? <laughs> well, we actually took off um, eight months and That's traveled all? around the world. <laughs> Might as well skip school, guys. <laughs> well, I enjoy school, so I'm not no, sure. No, no, I, 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 I'm pro. But yes, yes. I'm, I'm a lifelong addicted learner like you guys are, but you know, Mark Twain, who you may or may not have read because you're a little yes. younger, but Mark Twain said travel is unequivocally the best education. And it really is because you learn so much that there's you almost can't learn in school. That's right. So everybody has been pretty much open and receptive to you? Oh, yes. And where's Definitely. the resistance? I don't know. I'm not sure it's even resistance. It's just people who haven't yet realized that kids can make a huge difference in the world. And we have a lot of power to create real change. Um, and it's just telling people that we may be young, but we can still make a big difference. So what's the dream? And two things, I better do, what's your email address? So people can get one of these if they want to buy it and yes. give you $100? So our website is paperforwater.org, and it's all spelled out. One word. One word. Paper, do it and repeat it again. Paper for water. F-O-R. Yes, F-O-R. Paperforwater.com. Okay, yes. Dot and what is your vision and dream and hope and prayer for tomorrow? Well, our end goal is to solve the world water crisis. Um, but currently, we're just trying to involve more people and get the message out there. And are you guys going to write a book? <laughs> we, our parents have actually been on this for a while about writing a book. <laughs> By the way, I gotta tell you, for those of you that can't see mom and dad here, they're just tickled. Mom's turning all red, she's just chortling, she's go hopping. She's going, go daughters, go. Yes. Do you have any brothers or sisters or anybody other sibs? We have a younger sister, she's nine. And you're enrolling her too? Yes, definitely. She's sort of stuck traveling and, oh my big sisters, they have such yeah. a pain. She's right? a good sport and she's definitely learning to fold and becoming more and more involved. So why Oregon, uh, origami? So my dad is half Japanese, he was born in Japan, and he grew up just folding origami, and he taught me how to do it when I was four years old, and it's just this really fun craft, and it's almost therapeutic, and you can do it with a huge community of people, and it's just a great way to spend time with one another. Well, we got two movie makers watching you right now that are major movie makers, and I'm going to ask them, I get goosebumps. Tell them just real quick, repeat, Isabel, what you said about why we're doing water and how you're doing it and how much money you've raised. Ever so quick, just so they just walk in. They may end up doing a movie on you because they want to save the ecology and the biosphere. Please shorten it. So we raise money to fund water projects by making and selling origami. And we've been able to raise over $1.7 million. And, and fund tell them how you're 412 years old. <laughs> I'm 15 and my sister's 13. And we've been able to fund over 200 water projects in 20 different countries around the world. Everybody, give them a great round of a standing ovation if you will.